Hello, and this is a quick tutorial about Poll Everywhere uh, extension for Google Chrome and how to use it to do polls within Google Slides when you're in present mode. Specifically today, I'm going to show you how to use the Word Garden uh, poll, how to create that and embed it in a slide in your presentation and then collect responses, which will populate um, inside your slide for your present mode presentation. Sorry, that wasn't very clear. All right, so the first thing that we would need to do is we would need to have a slide deck where we want to insert a poll. So here, this is not the greatest example, I guess, but let's say that we were talking about favorite colors and I wanted to um, put a poll in here and I wanted to ask my participants what their favorite color is. So I would need to go over to polleverywhere.com I'm right here. Let me get rid of these extra tabs. And you can log in with your Gmail. So you don't have to create an account. Okay, and the free version allows you to have about 10 polls um, active at a time. So sometimes I have to delete old polls before I can create new ones to keep it free. And we like free things in education. Um, the free version of Poll Everywhere allows you to collect 40 responses per activity, which is usually more than enough for a regular classroom. So I think the free version is usable and doable. All right, so uh, let's create a poll. And by default, it wants you to create a multiple choice poll, which is an option that you could do, but you don't have to use multiple choice. I've used it before. Um, right now, I'm going to show you how to do a word cloud because that was what uh, was asked of me this morning by a teacher. So um, for the title of my word cloud, I'm just going to put um, instructions. Please submit your favorite color. You may answer more than once. Please submit one word responses. I might want to be specific. If people type sentences, it messes up the word cloud. We want one word or single phrase responses. Okay, and then I create it. Now, I could run my poll right here in Poll Everywhere, okay, if I wanted to. Um, and that's what I used to do before I learned about the extension. But I'm going to use an extension and embed the poll from the Poll Everywhere um, website into my Google Slides. So I want to make sure that my poll is active. Okay, I activated it. Now I'm going to come over here and in my slide deck for my favorite colors, I don't see a Poll Everywhere add-on or extension here. Okay, so I need to add it. I'm going to come to a separate tab and I'm going to search for Poll Everywhere extension for Google Slides. Here it is. So here's the Poll Everywhere for Google Slides and I want to add that to Chrome. I want to add the extension. Okay. And then I can, uh, it says Poll Everywhere for Google Slides has been added to Chrome. Whatever device you're presenting from is going to need the extension, by the way. I've created, uh, I learned that the hard way one time. I created it on a laptop and then I went and used a different computer. And you have to have the extension on the device that you're presenting from. So now when I come back over here and I refresh, now I've got a poll everywhere add on. See it? So I can come down here and I can say, here's where I want to put my poll. I want to use my poll everywhere. I want to insert. I don't want a new activity. I want to insert one that already exists that I already created. So I'm going to insert an activity. And then in my default folder, I should see my favorites down here. It's the last one that I created. Please submit your favorite color. You may answer more than once. So I'm going to check that and I'm going to insert. And it takes just a minute. I'm going to get rid of this extra slide here. All right, so now when I present, 
and I today class we're going to talk about favorite colors and so forth and so on and do 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 do. Now I'm going to do a quick poll, and you switch it over, and here is my embedded poll. And there are two ways that participants can respond. They can either text, and the instructions are up there, or they can use a internet browser, which is what I'm going to do real quick, to respond to the poll. Okay. And I'm going to put a response. And as they enter their responses, they begin to populate on the word garden. And see, I just, somebody didn't follow the instructions. I just did that as an example. They typed in hot pink. That's why we asked for one word responses because it put it in as two separate words. One thing that I think that's really cool though about the word garden is that if a response is duplicated, it begins to get larger. So the most common responses will be the largest text. Like red here is the most common um, response right now. But now blue and maybe somebody likes yellow. And so it's just, just, I think it's pretty cool. I love how you don't have to leave present mode to use it like you used to. See, and it will change as you will. Uh, and this will take up to 40 responses again. Um, All right, so, and of course, when you've got like 25 people doing it, this is gonna populate a lot quicker than me entering a bunch of uh, separate responses, but, and then when you're ready to move on, you can just stay in present mode and use your left and right arrows. So, and then um, one thing that I think that's important, if you use this um, for more than one class, you would need to come back over here um, at the end of class and clear responses, okay? And so, or else the responses are gonna remain from the previous class. And then I usually deactivate and activate again, but I'm not sure that that's required. So this is how you use the Poll Everywhere extension with Google Slides. It works great for me and uh, I like it a lot. You can play around with some of the other types of polls that you can create over at polleverywhere.com and see um, how well it will work for you. So that's all for my short tutorial on Poll Everywhere Chrome extension for Google Slides.